I just wanted to do a little uh, video on a little cosmetic fix on my iron bowl. After cooking on them a while, the food uh, stains get on the iron bowl like that, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disassemble it and I'm going to uh, take a, a sanding disc on my drill and uh, just blast it off a little bit with the sander and then uh, blow it off and uh, put a uh, coat of uh, barbecue paint, high heat barbecue paint. You can find it at your local hardware store. It's good up to 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm using a black matte finish. Uh, the tools I'm using to disassemble my uh, Easy Walk burner system, I have some uh, cordless tools, but specifically the, the bolts uh, that hold this together are um, they're half inch long bolts. They're metric, number six metric, and the hex size head here is a 10 millimeter. So uh, if you don't have one of these uh, and you do have like a ratchet, you'll need at least a, a, a four inch extension to get down into the iron bowl here to uh, reach, re reach the two bolts. There are two here and then there are three underneath holding the burner in. So I'm gonna take this out and then, uh, and then I have my regular uh, wire cordless drill. I have a disc. I'm just using an 80 grit sandpaper. Just give it a nice little once over uh, to try to smooth out the edges a little bit. And uh, that's that. With that said, I'm gonna put on my eye protection. They also help me see. And uh, I'm just gonna disassemble this. So that's the iron bowl comes off and it, it, uh, it's going to need some love. And then as well as the plate, the burner I'm not really going to mess with today. I'm just going to do, I want to do these two pieces. These are the ones that get seen mostly anyway. So I'll set these bolts aside. I can get rid of that screw gun and put the burner down here too. Uh, we'll just start with the plate and uh, we'll start going for it. Well, as you can see, the, uh, the sanding disc is working really well. What I'm going to do is uh, Go ahead and take some time here and and uh, polish this off, get it ready to paint, as well as this one. I'm going to do the same thing with that. So we'll be right back and uh, these will be ready to start painting in just a few moments. Okay, so this is uh, where I'm at uh, after I've sanded it down. We managed to get uh, most of the uh, loose stuff off it and we got it down to a smooth surface. It's all dry now and I'm going to get ready to run a, a coat of paint. I'm going to do the top first. That way when I roll it over, uh, it'll rest on these these things. And uh, I think it's pretty quick drying paint. They say six to, in, six to eight inches away and uh, should be able to lay on a nice coat. But since I've got you here, why don't I just I'll set this one over here, out of the way, and we'll, we'll just do a little light coat on this. I think every, everybody can see this. So, right now, there's not much of a breeze going, so that's good. I think I'll start with the bottom on this one. Also, uh, one thing I should be wearing is a mask. I had my t-shirt on when I was doing the, uh, the sanding, but eye protection and a respirator mask, dust mask, would probably be a good thing.
See if I can get around the outside edge. Come around this side. There you have it. So I'm going to get my mask on, bring up the iron bowl to do it, and then I'll roll these over once they've dried, do their coat on the opposite side, and then we'll be back and we'll drop it in the Easy Walk cart. We'll see how nice that looks. Well, welcome back. A um, couple things. Again, I wasn't. Uh, I'm at not my, my home, so I don't have all my equipment, uh, but. Gloves to protect your hands from painting, uh, a dust mask for painting and for sanding this thing down. And make sure you have plenty of sanding discs if you go that route. So this is how it came out. Okay, so there's the, the bottom plate. It's not probably wants to set up overnight, but I'm gonna reassemble it just for the sake of uh, putting it together. And the W3 iron bowl came out beautiful. Uh, has a nice matte finish, black matte finish. So that'll also help to hide any foods, food stains in the future. Uh, next time I'll take this, disassemble all this stuff and do that. But you know, this thing gets so hot and, um, and it's hidden underneath your walk. So that's why I didn't do that. I wanted to do this part. So let's put this together. And then I'm going to roll the Easy Walk card in here and we'll show you what it looks like. So to reassemble it, this plate has a little notch here. That's where you know the stem of the burner goes there. And just grab that, roll it over a little bit, get a thread started. My bolts are still good. So the nice thing about the cordless drill, this one happens to be an impact, so it's really quick. Boom. Boom, boom, that's it. And then we'll just pop this right into place. Just get it started so the other one lines up all right. Pound that one in, pound that one in. And there you have it. The W3 iron bowl with a flat black matte finish, ready to start cooking. So let me do one thing here. We got the easy walk. We got the easy walk cart here, and uh, let's drop this flat mac flat matte finish iron bowl in there. Look at that! Doesn't that look pretty? So that was uh, all about that. Hope you enjoyed that. Nice little tip, but you know, if you ever get crazy, you want to clean up stainless steel cart. This cart has been with me since 2014, 2014. And I took it apart and I didn't soak the uh, square washers, but uh, I didn't go crazy on it in other words, but uh, you can and it'll come out like new. So. Uh, built to last. Thanks for coming by. I hope you enjoyed this little video here. Um, now we got a nice W3 iron bowl with a new paint job on there and uh, we're ready to start cooking.